Hello, I'm Lisa Peter, and I'm coming to you today from Hazelwood, USA. Today is October the 5th, 2014, and the title of our devotion is All Nations. Um, yesterday was Yom Kippur, and I'm not sure if I'm saying that right, but it's observed by the Jews, and it's a Jewish holy day. The fate of each person is sealed for the upcoming year. It's, they fast and pray, abstaining from all physical pleasures, refraining from work on this day. It was yesterday on our calendar, but today, it being Sunday, I think today should be the Day of Atonement, too, for all nations. Um, oh, that's 2013, oh, 2014, yesterday it was from sunset October the 3rd through nightfall October the 4th. And, and next year it will be in September. Anyway, um, the word Yom means day, and Kippur means to atone, the day to atone. Well, I didn't know that when God impressed on my heart to do All Nations service today. And then as I got to, um, I posted something on the song sets for worship leaders. I was asking about some songs for All Nations, and they said, well, that's October the 12th. That's next week. Well, God impressed on my heart to do it today. So you'll have it today. And... Um, probably at your own church next Sunday. Well, today I'm going to um, be talking about Acts chapter 2, verse 5. And there were dwelling at Jerusalem Jews, devout men out of every nation under heaven. From the Galileans, this is a region in northern Israel. The Galileans were not exact in their language, probably like me speaking English. I am not exact in my English. I speak American. <laughs> I speak Terre Hodean. <laughs> combination of Terre Haute, uh, Hutchison, Kansas, and um, Henderson, Tennessee. I'm kind of mixed up. Anyway, um, the Parthians, they speak Parthian, Persia, Aramaic, A-K-K-A-D-I-A-N, Akkadian. The Medes, they were an uh, ancient Iranian people from northwest Iran. Iran. See, I can't even speak English. I can't even speak American. The Median language, um, Southeast Turkey area, the far... Okay, they speak the Median language. I'm just reading, not paying attention to what I'm saying. Okay, the Elamites, their language was the Elamite. The Elamite. They was from the far west and southwest is what is modern, modern day Iran. The dwellers in Mesopotamia, this is the land between rivers, kind of Kuwait, uh, north... I can't read, I think, northeast Syria, northeast Turkey, um, and southwest Iran. Judea, Judea, they, um, they were exact in their dialect. They had a pure speech. Um, that's the historic land of Israel, the West Bank. Cappadocia, Greece, this is central Turkey. They speak Greek or Turkish. Pontus, northeast by the Black Sea, North Sea something, I can't read my writing, I can't believe I did that. Aramic, uh, you've heard of Pontus Pilate, that was, he was from that area. Asia, um, this could be vast, Asia, I mean we think of Asia, but then they said that was the land, Asia, what this is talking about was then known as Turkey, uh, but they could have had a lot of different dialects there. Turkish being one of them. Uh, Phrygia, uh, that's central. Um, and I think that's the same word I can't read while we go. Antatolia, now Turkey. So the one was, uh, Pontus was northeast Antatolia, and this is central Antatolia. Uh, Indo European, Phrygian. Uh, you've heard of King Midas. Midas is that area, that's where that was, um, Phrygia. Pamphylia, this is a nation made out of every tribe. Um, it's a coast region south of Asia Minor, the dialect of ancient Greek. And it's talked about in the Bible in Acts 13.13 13 and Acts 14.24. Uh, the chief city is Persia. Uh, that's where Paul, his first missionary journey was in that area. Um, just kind of giving you a little bit of more, what we know a little bit more about it. Egypt, of course, they speak Egyptian, a branch of... Afro and an Asiatic Arabic. 
Um, I really should not be the one doing this. I don't know how to pronounce these words. But anyway, um, you can look it up if you want to know more about it. Parts of Libya about Cyrene. Um, the Athens. The A oh, Cyrene is like the Athens of Africa. It's a very well-known, you know, very build-up place. You heard of Simon the Cyrene. He helped carry the cross of Jesus. Uh, they speak mostly Greek, um, according to my research. Strangers of Rome. Of course, you know Rome, it's Italy, and they spoke Italian. But the Strangers of Rome, these may go together with the Jews and proselytes. Um, Cornelius was of Italian band. We learned about that later on in Acts. Uh, a proselyte is a newcomer or a sojourner in that area. In our language today, we talk about proselytes being a new convert to a doctrine or a religion. <clears throat> the Jews, of course, uh, is Israel. Um, Crete, uh, that's an island, the island of Crete. They had a big earthquake not too long ago, but it's Greek. The Arabians, they speak Arabic, of course, um, and it consisted of 22 countries. So they had a lot of different probably dialects and stuff. But what I was just talking about, Yom Kippur, the Day of Atonement, in almost every language it is called Yom Kippur. Uh, Yom meaning day and Kippur meaning uh, to atone. It's a day of repentance, to turn around, to be sorry, to right your wrongs. In Acts 2, 36, it tells us, Therefore let all the house of Israel know assuredly. See, all the people that was there that day, that they were all of the house of Israel. So all the different tribes, all the different tribes of Israel. Know surely that God hath made the same Jesus, whom ye have crucified, both Lord and Christ. He was telling them right then. And, and when they heard this, they were pricked in their heart and said unto Peter and to the rest of the apostles, Men and brethren, what shall we do? Then Peter said unto them, Repent. Atone. Yom Kippur. Repent and be baptized, every one of you, in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. That's the day. When you get baptized in the name of Jesus, that's your day of atonement. That is your remission of sins, and you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. And for this promise is unto you and to your children, the ones that was there that day, and to their children, and to all that are far off. See, when they went back, when they went back to their lands, they took this gospel with them. They took this new truth that was preached on the day of Pentecost about repentance, the Yom Kippur, being repentance to atone for their sins, taking it back to their nations and to all that are far off, even as many as the Lord our God shall call. Even here, I don't know what, where our nationality is, if, how we came out of this, but I'm sure that one of our great, if we could trace back our trees, our family trees, I'm sure that somebody in our family line was there on the day of Pentecost. Now, our, our last name's Peter, but I'm sure, I don't, you know, we're not Jewish, so we can't be related directly to Apostle Peter, but I teasingly call my husband Apostle Peter because he is an apostle. My husband is an apostle Peter. But anyway, um, um, that's what they was doing on the day of Pentecost. I'm tying all this in all nations. It doesn't matter who you are. And with many other words did he testify and exhort, saying, Save yourselves from this untoward generation. You have to have your own Yom Kippur. You have to atone for your own sins. You have to repent and be baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of your sins. And you shall receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Then they that gladly received his word were baptized, and the same day were added unto them about 3,000 souls. I have a few things with me today for show and tell. Now, I didn't wear my hair because I, I, I didn't wear my hair. I didn't wear my hair up today because I feel very repentant today. This is my young Kippur. I am Day of Atonement. You want to get down before the Lord. Have your alabaster box. Wash his feet with your tears and dry them with your hair. My husband got this from the land of Israel. It is from, I can't read that, and it would be backwards to you anyway, but it's in, I'm sure it's in Hebrew. Uh, this is spike yarn. It says that a myrrh is a fragrant gum re resin that is used in making perfume and incense. It comes from the trunks of certain small trees of the genus 
Kampura that grow in Eastern Africa and so, so, Southern Arabia. Should have my glasses on. Cinnamon is made from the inner bark of branches of the cinnamon laurel tree. Iris is a popular plant with large, beautifully colored flowers. And it says this is produced by the three arches made in Bethlehem. And anyway, if I can get it out of here, I'll show you real quick. I never take it out because it smells so strong already. But this is my alabaster box. Hmm. Smell of vision. Well, I only have like five more minutes, so I gotta hurry. You can't go past 15 minutes on the webcam. Here is a Morocco from the country of Belize. My daughter was a, a missionary there for four months. She helped out the Kale, Deaf Inst uh, Kale Institute for the Deaf and also there with our, um, our Pentecostal uh, missionaries there in the city of Belize. This was given to me from Starla Hanscom, um, Starla Church now. But uh, years ago, when they, they were missionaries in Pakistan, and she sent me this, and she also sent me a little dish that had a coin in it. I can't find it this morning, but I've had this all these many, many years. It's kind of raggedy, but this represents Pakistan. This, uh, our family got to go to Ireland for a missionary trip a few years ago, and this is a $5, <laughs> five pounds, it says on the back. I'm glad it says that because I didn't know what it was. Queen Elizabeth on there. We went to um, Ireland and that, that we got that money in, um, in London. This also, this vest also, my daughter brought this back from Belize. I don't know if it was made in Belize and of course, and am I, it says it's made in India actually. It was made in India. Um, we've got my Spanish Bible here. Jesus Cristo is la mejor que me ha pasado a mí. That's Jesus is the best thing that ever happened to me. And um, names of some of my friends, Claudia Alamon, Maria Mendoza, Elio Sanchez, Alicia Sanchez, Elba Sanchez, the nombres de mi amigos. But this is my Spanish Bible. This is the Talk to the Deaf book I had when I was a little kid growing up. And it says, to Lisa with love, may God richly bless you, love Diane. She was one of the interpreters there that helped me to learn sign language. So these are the different cultures, different nations. I've always been fascinated with languages and various cultures. The color of skin never was an issue. As a child, I would interact and play with children in the neighborhood where my grandparents lived, and only later when I heard somebody talking about who I was playing with did the skin color issue even come up. In high school, my best friend was a, a black girl. A, we call him Negro or caller, but now we say African American. Um, found out later, her, her other people of her race called her zebra, but it um, didn't matter to her or I. But anyway, the color of our skin does not matter. I took Trace on as a Spaniel in Escuela, learning Spanish, um, like I already said, some Spanish to you. I always loved the Mexican, Puerto Rican, and Costa Rican friends that came to our church and always been involved in deaf, deaf ministry. People are people no matter what color we are, no matter our skin, no matter our language. Our, we need a fellowship and interact with each other. No man liveth or dieth to himself. People all over the world are calling on Jesus. They need Jesus. We need Jesus. One word's the same in every language, hallelujah. When we say hallelujah, it's praise Yah. I give myself to Jehovah. What was the first commandment? To love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy mind, with all thy soul. And hear, O Israel, the Lord our God is one Lord. We were born to praise the Lord. So when we say hallelujah, I give myself to Jehovah. When we mean that, that is the first commandment. So love in every language. Smile. Smile a while and give your face a rest. Raise your hands to the one you love the best. Turn around to someone near, shake their hand, and smile. You can't be friendly, too friendly. You can't give enough love. And you need to get people together and teach them Bible studies. Let them know Jesus is coming soon. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Well, I got to go because my time is up, but I love you all. Get, find a place and pray today. Do your, have your own Yom Kippur. And if you haven't ba been baptized in Jesus' name, receive the gift of the Holy Ghost. Repent, be baptized, and get the Holy Ghost. God is good. Love you.